Hello and welcome. I am here today with Adi Osmani. He is an engineering leader working on Google Chrome. He is also a best-selling author and he'll be speaking at React Summit US coming up. Welcome, Addy. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Dave. I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. And I like to ask a question that has nothing to do with web development to start out. Just, you know, relax a little bit. As a best-selling author, and this doesn't have to be anything with web dev or programming even, but what's a book that you've read within the last 12 months that you might recommend or, or think somebody ought to check out? So one of my favorite books that I've read uh, is a book called Multipliers. And it's really about trying to figure out what are the things uh, in teams that help multiply their effectiveness and what are the accidental things that sometimes cause them to be diminished in their effectiveness. So Multipliers is an awesome book. Um, I definitely recommend it. Well, thank you. I will check that out. Uh, do you remember the author? I can look it up if not. Uh, the author of Multipliers uh, is Liz Wiseman. Excellent. Okay. Word to the wise there. Check that book out. I'll be doing the same. Okay. Let's get into web dev now. And on my YouTube channel and the students I teach at university, lots of them are beginners. And you put out some great advice, by the way. If you guys aren't following Addy on LinkedIn, I know you're very active there. Uh, but what's one piece of advice, and I know there, there could be many, but one piece of advice you would emphasize or tell a beginner if they asked you for advice? If you're a beginner um, just starting out today, I think that often you'll get differing kinds of advice around how much you should be focused on the fundamentals um, versus other things. And my guidance is to always approach this with pragmatism. There's going to be a set of skills that will help you get a job sooner. Often that is things that real businesses are using to ship to production today. It could be you know modern frameworks, modern tools, modern tech stacks. Being able to prototype, build anything for those is a good use of spare time that you might have. And it means that you can jump into a job, whether it's consulting or whether it's you know in an entry level position and start to be productive a little bit sooner. The fundamentals are, are critical. They're really, really important, but they should be, you know, uh, ramping up on them should be something that you balance with how you try to, to add value to businesses. So I always try to encourage folks to just Approach that not in a, you know, an absolutionist way. It's important to make sure that you're able to offer skills a business is going to be able to take advantage of. Hey, I sincerely appreciate that advice. And I think that's going to go a long way with some of the viewers here on my channel. Thank you. So speaking of books and, and also you said uh, something there about, you know, what do uh, large enterprises use? Uh, you have a recent book you co-authored, if I'm correct. And I want to make sure I get the title right, so I'm going to look over here and read it, but Building Large-Scale Web Apps, a Field Guide. Would you like to share a little bit about that? Certainly. So um, over the last decade, uh, as I've worked at Google, I've, I've had the opportunity to work with many large teams building the top 100 and top 1,000 websites. Um, you know, everything from social media platforms to shopping to you know, news, all, all, all sorts of things. And many of the lessons that we learned as we tried to help those teams be successful on the web, the things that I found were not necessarily captured quite as clearly anywhere. There was a difference between being able to spin up something, you know, using a modern tool chain, Next.js, Create React app, uh, Astro, any of these things, versus building something that has to sustain for the long term um, with a team context. And there are many kinds of problems that you might run into uh, there that require some additional thought. Like, how are you appro approaching architecture? How are you approaching testing, translation, accessibility? There are all sorts of concerns that I think were not captured quite as well for that audience. You have to think about, you know, taking something that, that works today and then thinking about how you scale that out for a large audience. Um, over time, you know, your ability to do things like make sure that you know, you're shipping features while not slowing the product down, you know, that, that type of thing. There, it, it's important and how you go about approaching that is something I found was not captured very well. So the book tries to um, distill knowledge from over the years about what's worked well for teams. And uh, I and my co-author, uh, Hassan Drew, I hope that, you know, it's going to be valuable for folks. It sounds very valuable. I know you recently added a few new chapters as well. 
Yeah, yeah. This was uh, one of the first times we've tried to uh, early on. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of ideas for this book. Some of it didn't make the initial cut. And we wanted to make sure that we were continuing to add value uh, to folks, like even after they purchased it. And so uh, if you're a, one of the things that we do, so the, the website for um, the book is largeapps.dev. Um, and if folks subscribe to our newsletter, they'll be able to check out things like the latest chapters uh, we're making available to everybody that has bought the book. Um, and so we tried to capture some, some more value, some more insights there about the updates. Excellent. I will link to that in the video description if anybody wants to check that out. Thank you for sharing, Addy. And now you will be speaking at React Summit US, and I'll have links to React Summit. It's a, also kind of a sister or brother conference with JS Nation. So JS Nation is November 18th in New York City, and React Summit US is November 19th. Online uh, viewing remote dates are November 21st and then 22nd for React Summit as well. So check that out in the links. But Addy, I wanted to ask if you can tell us a little bit about your upcoming talk at React Summit without giving it all away, of course. Certainly. So uh, I'll be speaking at both JS Nation and React Summit this year. Uh, the team have been um, asking me to, to come speak for a number of years, and this was the year where we could make it work out. So I'm really, really excited to be uh, present for both. Uh, at, at the React event, um, I'm looking forward to talking about developer tooling. Um, I've had the pleasure of getting to work on developer tooling for um, a large part of my career. And uh, in my team, we focus on things like the Chrome developer tools. Uh, that a lot of developers use as their sort of canonical debugging tool. Um, now, there are a lot of great developer tools out there from, from other browsers. I want to like give folks kudos for those. Um, I think it's very important to uh, have a tight grasp of how you go about debugging applications today. DevTools are where you spend a lot of time doing everything from debugging, like why your JavaScript, why your framework, why your components may not be rendering and running correctly, all the way through to tweaking your layout, um, discovering whether there are performance issues. There are a rich uh, tool set of things that you can use to be more productive across a range of different kinds of problems. And very often, because there's so much that's possible, we tend to find that people don't know like what DevTools is always capable of. And so you end up relying on, you know, uh, maybe you'll randomly stumble on a tweet about some secret feature or maybe you'll you know, come across uh, an article or something over the years that tries to capture like, hey, here are 30 things you didn't know about DevTools. But um, I wanted to try this building, like for a, for a modern context, if you're using React, if you're building you know, a non-trivial application, what are the things in DevTools that can help you really level up and become more productive? I wanna talk about um, not just uh, you know, Chrome DevTools, I wanna talk about React DevTools, I wanna talk about the tooling in the React ecosystem. Um, but I also want to zoom in on some of the things that I think will really help level up somebody that's using React uh, through their debugging workflow, keeping in mind that there are a number of other tools that they might be using alongside these things. So um, as far as I know, this is going to be one of the, the first recent times that we're, we're going to be looking at this topic. Um, I'm really excited about it, and I think that folks will walk, around, uh, walk out of it with its good value, hopefully. I think there's a, a, going to be a lot of value there. That's one of the things, you know, we're working on a project and we get busy. And so with dev tools and things, we do the few things we know. And what you're talking about there, it sounds invaluable because I, there's tons of things I don't know. And I've been doing this for years. <laughs> so I, I don't think I'm alone in that. So no one should feel bad. And at the same time, I think you're going to deliver some information where we could learn a lot. So thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate you answering some questions today. Let everybody know where they can find you on the web and check out your latest book and, and all of that stuff. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, folks can check me out at addyosmani.com. That's going to have links to uh, both the books that I've been working on over the last couple of years, as well as my LinkedIn, my Substack, and, and other places where, where I love to write. Um, hopefully you'll find something useful there. Outstanding. Thank you, Addy. Look forward to seeing him at both JS Nation and React Summit US this November. It's November 18th and 19th, and then online 21st, 22nd. I'll have those links in the description. Take care, Addy. Thank you. A quick shout out to my patrons. Holy Coder is a progress provider. And my junior patrons, Programming Polyglot, Isaac, Will, Ernie, Georgie, Stacy, Abe, Javier, Michael, thank you all so very much. You're helping me reach my goals. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection.
and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.